Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we'll understand how to carry out custom filtering in Alteryx Designer platform. So for this, we will go on the canvas. Activate the input output categories. In this, we are having a tool input data. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of these tutorials. Click on set up a connection. Click on files. You can drag and drop your data set directly here or select the file. Part 1 open. To activate any tool, it is necessary that you run it or use the shortcut key that is Ctrl plus R to run that tool. So run it. Click OK. Now hover your mouse on any field. Three dots will appear. Click on it. Filter. So the filter condition, just open it. You can see it gives me the options which are related to the string. This is wrong. We will have to correct it. There are two methods for correcting it. One, the manual and another is automatic. Let's see the manual one first. So I'll go in preparation, select. On left hand side, I can change the age to uh, the double, the type double, run it, click OK. Again, activate the browse tool from input output, browse, run it, click OK. Hover your mouse on that uh, age filter. Can you see the options have changed? Now, if there are many variables to change, this becomes cumbersome. So there is one automatic option also available. First, delete this. Delete this also. Go in preparations, auto feed. Run it. Click OK. In, activate the input output categories and again drag and drop the browse tool. Run it. Click OK. Now hover your mouse on this age field, filter, yes, it has done it perfectly. We did not change anything manually, but on the basis of the text and on the basis of the figures available, the auto field has identified that it is a numeric field or it's a string field. So remove this browse tool. And now we will activate the filtering tab. Go in preparations, filter. It is always necessary that before the filtering tab, auto field is identified, then only the proper options will be displayed here. So let's say age is a numeric and we require all the options which are related to numeric only. So it's necessary that the auto field should be before the filtering uh, tool. Basic filtering, we have already discussed in my previous video. Now we will see the custom filtering. So activate the custom filtering. Let's see the options which are available. Press control space. It will display, it will display all the expressions which are available. That is the mathematical operators, the logical operators, everything will be displayed. Okay. Press exit. X will display all the fields which are available and constants. This will uh, this will display all the recent expressions which have been used. Okay, click on FX, and you can see uh, the expressions which are related to conditional, conversion, date and time, maths, finance. Everything will be will be displayed. Now we want to filter these records. We want to specify two conditions together that, that display the records of only those patients whose age is greater than 40 and, and the patient should be male. So, so we are going to use N as a logical operator. So from here, pick up the age greater than, age should be greater than 40 space N. 
So we are using the Boolean operator AND, which should be capital AND. Again, click on X. Equal to double inverted commas in it, write down M. Why M? Because we only want the records of the patient whose age is above 40 and, and gender male. Run it. Click OK. Again, click on this uh, T. T is a true, true tab. So it will display the records which satisfy this condition. Male and above 40. When you click on F, it will display the records of those which don't satisfy both this condition. You will get male here, here also. But see this male, his age is below 40 and therefore it is not displayed in true tab. Now again, you can click on input output, browse, run, click OK. So it will only display the records of those patients which satisfy this condition, the truth one. Now disconnect this and connect it with the false. So it will display the records of those patients which don't satisfy this condition. So this was all about how to use custom filtering in Alteryx designer platform. For more videos on Alteryx, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.